Okay, before I'm done here, before I'm done here, there's one brain I can't find and I don't care anymore. Uh, before I'm done here, I'm going to do the uh, the gold bolt route because why the hell not? Why not? I always go down every route and it's what I haven't done, so why not? And then we'll go to the Insomnia Museum, which is a really cool thing. All right, then I need to take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. Oh, man. Most Mike's not here. Let's let's talk about how awesome he is. Like, seriously, such a legend. Absolute legend. Seriously, though. People, if, if any uh, developers, you know, um, are able to hire someone for a very, very good wage, look no further than Mike Stout, because he deserves all the praise and all the work. Okay, I'm very dead. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Actually, that's a lie. I have a jetpack. Well then. that <laughs> Yeah, that's a weird glitch for that. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I really love how the Magnavites look in this game, though. They look so cool. They look super cool. But yeah, no, everyone, sh everyone should hire him for stuff, assuming he has the time and also, you know, like as I can, like uh, interactive access. Look at this website. It's a good website. Because he's just awesome. He's the best. There's a fantastic angle. <laughs> right, into the secret blur glare. Okay, I am I am ready. Ready to clear whatever hell this has for me. I know I haven't, like, technically speaking, completed this place because I haven't got all the brains, but Come on, I've got all the brains. Like, I've got all of them. I've beaten four of them. You know I can beat the rest. It's just really tedious to watch. And this video is already two hours long. <laughs> so, give me a break. <laughs> like, come on. I have returned. Hello. Hello. I said you're a great developer while you were away. That's like the fifth time, man. Should, people are gonna get tired of hearing that. Pe people should hire you. <laughs> more. People do hire me. But more. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, I said if they if they're able to pay a good wage, hire them immediately. Because <laughs> I have I have special discounts for indies, so. I would actually love to see you work on indie stuff. <laughs> It's a. Uh, uh, I know about the weapons. <laughs> I know about oh, that yeah. fabled R2 button game. <laughs> I know it's a hard concept to wrap your head around, but I am aware what it does. <laughs> it still tells you about that even if you're using the weapons. Does it really? Yeah, I get that thing popping up all the time. That is uh, like, absolutely pointless. <laughs> it, it, it seems like when I run out of ammo on certain weapons, it would come up. That's kind of dumb. But okay. Well, I imagine that's one of the things in the patch. Well, probably way far down on the list on the patch. Yeah. Yeah, I could kill all these enemies, but at this point, I don't care. So, uh, away we go, eh? Indeed. Oh, there's tons of enemies coming my way. Oh, no. That's the reason why you can't jetpack in every level. <laughs> yes, yes it is. There you go, done. Gold bolt attained. Done. Finished. Yay, to Yay. Melvin. To Velden to go to the Insomniac Museum. I assume it'll be there. I assume it'll be It should be there. Yeah, I assume so. Uh, yeah, I was saying that I think the Magna Boots. Oh, you ha you, yeah, the teleporter's in the garage, yeah. Yeah, the Magna Boots look super cool in this game. The effect. Yeah, that's, that's such a great effect. It looks that hex like thing? It's, yeah. it's like 3D, but not. It's really cool. Like it makes, yeah, it makes like you look that. like you're standing on an orb. It's, it's super cool. I have a I have an idea of how they did the effect, and it's 
my idea sounds so complicated, I'm certain they didn't do it that way. <laughs> Go on. Like, well, I mean, like, my idea would have been to actually put down all of those objects and move them in 3D space to make them look like that. But uh, yeah, that they can't possibly have done it that way. Right. Like, yeah, that's... that's that's I mean, just doesn't, it, doesn't come it, it just it looks so cool. It looks so so cool. Oh, I can't oh, get over how. Video froze. I can't see it. Oh, okay. Well, oh wait, I got it now. Yeah. I, just, I can't get over how cool it looks. By the way, there's a gold bowl here normally. Yay. Hey, look! I've got times two multiplier, like the highest I will ever get in this playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you get three a few times. Yeah, I think I got like six once. It was a miracle. It'll never happen again. <laughs> I spit on. Yeah, I'm, probably, you I'm a, honest... probably you killed a bunch of swarmers, sand sharks or something. Yeah, like I'm dreading the final boss, but I'm also dreading the deplanetizer. Just the enemies Quark's themselves. Quark's gonna not be easy either. The enemies themselves are gonna. He ruin flies me. so much. Yeah. Also, one thing oh, I did yeah. notice: the Groovatron attack. Um, that seems to stun you, um, want, like, to the point where you can't move after you destroy it, and enemies spawn instantly, to the point where you just get hit. It's a forced hit, pretty much. Which is not good. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I noticed when I did a small test on it. So, in wrench, in wrench only, or? Yeah, I don't know uh, if that always. would apply for the rest, but with wrench only, yeah. Because... You basically the idea is you have to destroy it as quickly as possible because obviously you can't attack while you're right. you're spinning, and what happened, right. what ended up happening, was the um, uh, what ended up happening was I and uh was, oh god, um, they were spawning as soon as I was starting to destroy the the ball because I couldn't get it to any, to any quicker and I was stunned after I stopped the ball, uh the Groovatron. And and I was just getting attacked instantly, mm -hmm. and so it was just like, hmm, that's not great. But this is <laughs> this yeah, probably is, not great. This is the tech demo, I guess, kind of thing. Su such is life, I guess, when you're trying to wrench only. Yeah, it's it's a brutal task. And like, I mean, you know, when we make these games, doing it, we are not... actively we so, are actively trying to stop people from yeah, doing well, that stop when we it, make right? these games. <laughs> <laughs> the the thing is like other people are doing wrench only though. but they're not doing it on challenge modes so it's just like I appreciate that but mm. come on oh this is so cool now that I know what it is which sorry the video is very spotty at the moment I can't tell sorry just the fact that I know what this video is like that it's a, oh the video yeah now, yeah now that I know what this is like this is like that is um, an amazing throwback People might, they must have just been like, also, oh, okay. Also, those mountains like... are... Sorry, what? Those mountains in the fake picture were the Burbank Mountains, where the... Oh, really? Zoniac offices are. Oh, that's awesome. Like, yeah. people must have just been they, like, when watching this, like, okay, like it doesn't look that impressive. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, that's the, I think that's the goal, because, man, that is really pretty. It, it really is. It is gorgeous. So cool. But yeah, I mean that's what that's that's what it looks like it is. I mean I wasn't there when they did this, so it's possible I might be getting this wrong, but I don't think so because it it looks like the diorama that I saw. Yeah. For Ratchet One. <laughs> but yeah, I I uh, I think with Alero City, I think it was just that they had a city named Alero City in the movie. Yeah. And then they wanted to put the they wanted to use Metropolis and then so they put Alero City on Metropolis. Right, yeah. I don't think in the movie it was supposed to be on Metropolis necessarily. Mm. Or not like on uh, Kerwan, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is Because we we were going to have a new planet for that uh since it was a remake of the old game. So the compromise I guess they came up with was let's put it on Metropolis and we'll just call Metropolis Mm, yeah. Uh, Alero City. Yeah. Makes sense. But that is that is very cool. That is very very cool. I really like that. And I guess with that we've we've got all the brains, apart from one which I can't find because it's not on the map and I don't care anymore. Um, you've seen me get in the other play. <laughs> you've seen me get in the other playthrough. You know I can kill the telepathic brains. I've done enough. Like. <laughs> I, I believe you. I'll vouch for you if anyone doubts it. Like, y you've seen it already. Like. It's just doing it six more times, which is, in itself, 
insane. Just it just takes too long. <laughs> but, and do you really want to watch that? People no, I, I don't. I don't think people do. To be fair, I think we're pretty spent with Plus, what we've talked about. Plus, they've got about. nefarious to look forward to. Yeah, that are cool. They've got everything else to look forward to. But I, it doesn't get any easier. There's some any murder point. coming up, man. It's it's gonna yeah like. Uh, I'm someone... really looking forward to you doing the, the planetizer because those enemies are brutal. Yeah, no, I know. I'm I'm genuinely worried. The uh like. There's someone duo strikes who does a death count for each one, and uh, on Umbris in the original, I ended up dying I think like 80 something times on that planet, mainly oh due God. mainly due to like falling and the the stupid like turret things. Um, and he was saying he's upset because uh, it's probably never gonna reach that level again. And I was just I was just thinking like, I don't know, maybe man, it will. <laughs> I think it will give it time. <laughs> uh, to, be, to be fair, like, uh, whilst the door on Demosal was a very big issue, um, I didn't die that much. What did end up killing me a lot was that stupid um, mission on Joba, the um, Megapede in three minutes. I I had to I die either oh, died or restarted the air that mission. Is that what you're talking about? Do you remember the Megapede battle? The, uh, are we still talking about this game? No, we're talking about Ratchet 2. Okay, sorry. It must have cut out when, when that happened. Oh, sorry. Uh, do you remember, like, the like exception of... It came close to Umbris. Do you remember the Megapede battle in Ratchet 2 at Joba? The I do remember it, yeah. yeah. Beating that in three minutes. I either died or restarted, like... Well, actually, no. I or either timed out or died about, I don't know, 60 times. <laughs> that that took me like, because I did an hour of that like or half an hour to an hour of that nonstop with you, um, just that mission. I did like an hour the next day, and I did like two hours the day after, and it, it took me like three and a half hours to do that. It was, that was the impossible challenge. Screw screw the actual impossible <laughs> challenge. That was the impossible challenge. With that the broke rich, me. Yeah. That that broke me. Beating the Megapede's not a problem. Doing it in three minutes is insane. And I don't know if you saw the bonus video where if you go back there in challenge mode, it's beat beat the Megapede um, without taking damage. Oh, yeah, I no. did see that. You're no. like, no, thank you. Uh, I, it, I, I said it's impossible like 50 times. And it's technically speaking not, but like you need infinite luck and... And right, yeah. The skills of a god, Lit a literal god, <laughs> because there's no way with wrench That's only. Like the door on Demosel. Well, I did that technically. I beat it. Well, right, but the, uh, but I mean the uh, trying to beat it by. Oh I, no! I did it. I did a bonus video. Upgrade I did it, right I, by the. No, I did it legit. I beat it. Oh, he did. I beat the door. I thought you were able to get around it. I I did get around it, but I went back and did it. <laughs> Some someone found a way. the oh, the way wow. to the way to do it was basically having low health. Um, so get to that point in the game with basically no nanotech upgrades. So basically you don't fight anything as you go through. Um, and yeah, when you you can go through the level and take out enough enemies to actually take them out. And I got through the door. I annoyingly died to the enemies right before the hypnomatic part, but that's irrelevant because I got through the door itself. Which was the biggest problem anyway, which is the point yeah. I was trying to prove, to prove to prove that you can get past that, which I did. So, I wasn't the first to do it. Someone showed me a trick on how to make it easier, which was really cool because someone did it after I like asked people to try it, um, like a day after as well. It was really cool. Someone had massive dedication to that. Um, but yeah, they, I was just like. But you were the first to do Drek with the wrench. I was so. in. I was definitely the first to do Drek. Like that's the thing. Like, demo. Like Drek. Um, Umbris, uh, Altanis Orbit, um, Gadgetron Headquarters, Veldin here, and Demozel's Door. All of them have been problems for people in the past, and I have cleared every single one of them wrench only. Admittedly, some of them have used glitches, um, but that's irrelevant because they are still wrench only. And that's because that's what you have to this do. This is why I gave you that certificate, too. Yes, I know. I really appreciate I treasure that. I look at that 
on a on a frequent make sure basis. to make sure to share that with people so they know that you're the the greatest of all time. I and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. But yeah, it is like the biggest problems of the series have been conquered by me, and I will endeavor to conquer them all. I don't think anyone's attempted tachyon. I asked people to try tachyon, and no one has. <laughs> so it's either people can't be bothered, oh, or it's just only? that yeah. hard. <laughs> so looking forward to doing <laughs> tools of destruction one day. Can't wait for that. Someone has done. Oh, someone has done a crack in time though. Um, this. This uh, kid and his father did oh, really? uh, crack in time, wrench only. It's really cool to watch, because that like nice. he's just he's I don't know how old he is. He's he's quite young, I think, like maybe 14, 15. But he's he's just swearing right out of the gate. It's just like this is gonna be fucking awesome. It's just like <laughs> and his dad's just there. It's like yeah, this son is great. But like it's really cool to watch. They're they're very good. They're very good at the game. But the Neat. thing with, with the thing with that is I'm actually tempted to go hardcore difficulty. Which is stupid, but I'm tempted to do it anyway. Oh. My my friend Alyssa tried to do uh do it hardcore and got past Vorsalon, um, but the, I can't remember what point she she was like I'm done, because it just ruined her at one point. But I can vouch for that. I tried a little bit and it does. But get you're crazy, brutal. so I'm sure you'll be able to. Handle yeah, it. I know. <laughs> like you don't understand how crazy I actually am. I speed run Mario Party nine. It's it's Did speed run what? Mario Party nine. It is a Mario 90, Party? Mario Party nine. It is a <laughs> it is a ninety nine point four percent luck based game. I know I know everything about that game. Wow. It, when I roll a dice, I know exactly where I land. If we get a specific dice block and the AI has it, I know roughly what they're going to do in order to favor their AI's like capabilities. I know everything about that game. That's how much of a mad genius wow. I am. <laughs> I also stupidly wow, speed ran. Insane. I also stupidly speed ran a game called Toy Story Racer. It's basically a Toy Story racing game based around the first Toy Story game. It's good. It's a movie. It's really good. It's a good racing game. Problem is the story mode per se is 200 missions, and the missions are basically either races or variations of that track with challenges, and it's 200 missions, and it took 10 and a half hours of the same repetitive gameplay. <laughs> I have a world record, but it was insane, Ooh. and I even took the liberty of, like, counting how many tracks I did, and how many laps I did, and I discovered that I did, wow. over overall, um, 302 races, and roughly 1,200 laps in those 10 and a half hours. <laughs> like, again, I'm That sounds like me with the hoverboard when I was testing. <laughs> what? Just with what exactly? And, uh, and that's the like I just I would try to, I would try to shave every millisecond I could off right. of, uh, the hoverboard. Like at some point I just did some ungodly low number, and then we we put like ten seconds up and we made that the skill point. Mm. I wasn't the only one to have yeah, that glitch. I, with... I, I know what you're talking about. I wasn't the only one to have that glitch with the uh, with the same time as the AI. Like the exact same millisecond um, on the hoverboard races, and it counts you a second even though you win. Interesting. Because uh, they post someone like posted a screenshot and sent it to it. That sucks. Like, and they were like, "Oh, we're gonna fix that in the update." <laughs> so that is being fixed. But I encountered oh, that. Oh, good. And good. since and since we were talking about it, let's have a race on real golf. Why not? Ah, ah. You see, I'm very stupid. <laughs> uh, Why? You see, I took the- oh, okay, I... never mind, it actually comes to you. Okay, that's genius. I was gonna say, I'm really thick because I didn't actually activate the taxis because I can just glide down. But they come to you anyway, just because you've been there. Okay, that's really good design. Well done. Yep. Never mind, I, I stand You correct. could do that in the original too. Oh, really? Okay, that's cool. We can yeah. I love Starlene. I love Starlene. I love Starlene. Oh, I love her too. I'm so glad that she's. I'm so glad that she actually has a proper name. And have you, have you also like heard she the? She has um, a name, yeah. Have you heard the um like like the various like things she says? Like she says one thing like uh like you are not permitted illegally on the track. I'm looking at you two like just basically as a nod to the first <laughs> game when you can glitch on here. It's like, so good. Yeah, remember. 
It's so brilliant. Uh, I love that. Well, they, that's a famous uh, Ratchet One bug. Yeah. Yeah, that is one of probably one of the like more famous bugs of um, of the PS2's life lifetime. To be honest, it's really just in, like it's oh, yeah. embedded. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, I I think I have to go to the pet store now. Fair enough. It has been a pleasure having Sorry. you here. So. Thank it's you. been a pleasure being here, Teal. Thank you. So thank Especially thank since you call me a genius all the time. I do. That's correct. Genius it makes it much easier to, uh, to show back up. because. It... <laughs> yes, and friend. Oh, thanks, Teal. Yeah, no, no problem. It was, as always, an honor having you here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for Ratchet Free Wrench only. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, of course. I'll be here. Sasua Crystals and Arena Challenges. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready I'm for sure it. we'll figure out something to talk about. I am ready we'll for it. We'll just talk about Doctor Who the whole time. Yeah, that, that works. Moffat will be left, probably be gone by that point. <laughs> so, yeah. Surprising. Who knows? Indeed. Goodbye, everyone. All right. Wow. Goodbye. Bye. Enjoy your prize. Bye. You earned it.